hell. The dead will walk here. Guys and dolls, welcome back. Um, we've got a bit of a weird one. I haven't got a guitar, it makes me feel weird. We're going to review a pedal today though. Uh, this is the MS50G G, yeah, yeah, by Zoom. Um, awesome little pedal, multi effects pedal. There's 8 amp sims in there. We've got 47 individual stomp boxes. We've got this kind of rotisserie control mechanism that's all groovy. We've got buttons to do loads of stuff. Did you say rotisserie like uh, a chicken? Yeah, yeah. Did you mean rotary? No, or rotisserie mat. I make stuff. <laughs> I make words up. <laughs> that's how. That's how we do it. Trademark that. Trademark. With the with the rotisserie mat. Yeah, with the it's a rotisserie mat. Check out the rotisserie mat. It's got soft keys. It's almost Swedish now. Uh, right, so anyway, this is it, the zoom. So we have got um, three quick keys that act as push buttons and also rotissimates. We've got a thing that will allow you to put um, pedals in front or behind certain things. You can have an amp, you can have delays after, you can have um, your distortions in front, that kind of deal. We've got a USB, so you're going to be constantly kept up to date by Mr. Zoom. Uh, for all of your needs, we have got a stereo out so we can run this into two different amp heads, maybe two micro terrors. Who knows? That might sound pretty cool. But what we're doing today, guys, we're just going to run it into Old Faithful. So we are running it through a Veta 2 from Line 6, and we're running it through a tube preamp, no effects, no nothing else. Um, so it's just kind of emulating what a tube preamp will be doing. You can run this in front of your amp or in the effects loop, and we're going to do both. So we'll try some of the amp sims in front, and then we'll run some of the um, digital delay effects reverb chorus out in the back um, effects loop, see how that sounds. Um, so meet us in a minute, and we'll get seeing if we can milk this out of some milky tones. Right guys, um, as you can see we've got a slightly different view, we've got a pedal view today. Um, so we're going to introduce you to a new member of the crew, it's Bibby's Finger. There he is, with many friends. <laughs> so, um, I'll just to mention man, this is the third time we've tried to do this because we just enjoy playing with this pedal so much, we can't get it under 10 minutes. So we're going to try this time, it means me talking quicker though. Right, so what we've got is we've got an effects chain, works like a normal effects chain would, so we can scroll left and right through it. Currently we've got about five effects in the chain, we can have up to eight, um, and you can run any eight in any order, so you can have eight distortions, you can have eight delays, blah blah blah, we've got reverbs, modulation effects, samplers, synths, they're all in there, 47, and we've got eight amps. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a clean tone, which is just my amp tone. So that's our naked control track, and then we're going to go to the front of our chain and put on our distortion pedal, see what that sounds like. Um, I think we've got a copy of a Proco Rat in there, which is called the Squeaker. So let's see what that sounds like off, and then on. So cool, very, very prodigy sounded. Um, so we're going to now go to the next effect. Uh, bear in mind, if you press up on that, you can get all your other effects up. So we've got ODs and uh, or different kinds of pedals. Um, all pretty faithful to um, the real counterparts, really. So moving over, um, we've got a noise gate in there. Always good to have a noise gate in your chain. Um, really good one on this. And then we've got the amp models. Now on this we've got like extreme overdrive super distortion or whatever it's called. Um, this is kind of a higher gain um, setting. We've also got a diesel hair bit in there and a two rock. A um, few marshals, few fenders. Won't go through them all but we'll definitely go through this one. Um, so the control without. <laughs> then with. <laughs> Right, so that's one of them. Let's try another one. Acoustic. Acoustic. That's fairly, quite impressive. Fairly though. decent, that like. And um, next one, what have we got there? Yeah, we've got some fenders. Nice we've got a Thank <laughs> you. 
So that's kind of our front end effects. Um, again, we've got loads of options with the stomps, loads of options with the amp emulations. Um, what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to flip over to the effects loop and we're going to play some choruses, delays, and reverbs through the effects loop, which is where we, we know they belong. They belong in the back end. like. So we'll move over, do that, and see how they sound. Um, so let's listen to the delay um, as it lives in the effects loop. So first without and then with. Really clean and definitely a true pipe bypass. What I found with my my boss pedal is when I put it through the effects loop, I get a, a, an EQ differential in my tone. This zoom doesn't do that, which is brilliant. So let's try another one. Let's move across and maybe stick a bit of reverb on there. You're currently clean. Yep. <laughs> There's a million different kind of um, reverbs and delays in here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to introduce you to how you would drop in a pedal. So we'll move to the end of our chain and maybe throw, what do you think, bit of a chorus in? Yeah, yeah, let's go chorus. Let's go chorus, man. So, so you can see we're at the end of our chain because it won't let us go any further. So we're going to add a bad boy in. So all you do is you hold down the little plus. It gives you the option to add your bank. And our chorus is going to live here. Special effects and modifiers. And then just up and down through them. Here we go. Super chorus. Nice little super chorus. So here we are without it. With. Let's try with some chords. Awesome. Uh, let's throw the delay in as well. Let's throw them all in. Let's see what happens when we put them all on. I'm gonna go full fast. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Cool. We all in. Nice, and this is how I'd be running this pedal, guys. I'd be using it as a effects loop patch bay. Absolutely brilliant. So let's see what we get now. Throw some, throw some distortion. I don't know. Whether to, oh, distortion through an effects loop. We'll save it. Let's let's save it. Let's drop it in. See how bad it can possibly sound. Right. Let's have a go with this. Pretty awesome. So that is the Zoom MS50G. Obviously, get down to sound effects. These guys will definitely sort you out and let you get in front of one of these bad boys. Um, absolutely awesome for the price. Um, obviously, if you're out and you've got a big effects bell and you're running a million quids worth of valve amp, maybe this isn't for you. But if you've got a lonely space in your floorboard, guys, fill it with one of these bad boys. Christmas is coming. Take it easy.